I'm not cute. I'm into hardcore death metal. I've got a scar. I branded myself with a hot iron once. I'm into BDSM. Don't judge me. I'm not cute. Just be like, yeah, I'm good at drawing people. Yeah. Really? You sure? Then draw a man. Come on, no more pretty girls. Draw a dude for once. And these are the horrible sketches behind my art.
and smart, and I get along with everyone, even ugly girls. Mm -hmm. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Do you understand? Oh, watch where you're going, man. Well, well, what are you shopping for? A personality? Hot to hot. You you tried to kiss me. I'm not gay. What the hell's the matter with you? Look, 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 let me, let me put it to you this way. I'm attracted to you in the way that a man is attracted to a woman. But I'm not gay. Time de cómo descubrí que no era hetero fue algo reciente. Fui a ver Bob ayer y ya saben lo que pasó. Me lesbianizó. <risa> bueno, ya voy a ser seria. Al menos espero que a alguien le sirva esto. Lo primero es que me gustaban demasiado las muñecas cuando era pequeña. Y cualquier persona diría: Eso es normal, las muñecas son para niñas. Pero mi gusto hacia ellas no era como admirarlas o querer ser como ellas, sino que en realidad eran mi tipo ideal de chica. Y aunque yo tenía muchos Kens, Nunca lo usaba Segundo Era muy celosa con mis mejores amigas Sentía celos de que tuvieran más amigas Y que yo no fuera su única prioridad Confundía lo que era una relación y una amistad Y por esa razón terminaba enamorada de ellas No lo hagan Tercero yo decidía de quién me iba a enamorar. Y sí, esto no es normal. Yo siempre era la chica nueva, así que cuando iniciaban las clases llegaba y analizaba a todos los chicos. Siempre escogía al más femenino y al más inalcanzable que nunca me fuera a pelar. Y cuarto, el video de Rihanna y Shakira. Creo que es una experiencia universal. Okay, so in my last video I received a lot of hate comments. So, I'm going to address this video. So, a lot of non-artist and artist in the art community were hating on the way I draw characters, my ox moths, etc. One thing I have to say is artists have different art styles, different shapes and sizes for noses, eyes, mouth, body parts. People who hate should feel shameful and guilty about how you criticize the way other artists draw or learn their style of art. If you want to hate on someone else's art, take a look at yours and make a change.
If you have something mean to say about that person, just as TFU. You aren't better in any way. Hating on a artist's art is totally disrespectful and rude. So just stop and be a better person. She's a dark little artist with ink in her veins. She's been through the hardest but prospered from pain. She appears to be heartless, surrounded by flames. But through all the darkness, a lover is chained. Her mind is a beautiful thing. You never quite know what she thinks. But if you're lucky, she just might let you see. Some people even think it's fun to smash pumpkins. Hmm, I like your ears. Uh, mine? Mm hmm. Thank you. Uh, I like your spots. Really? I used to cover them up, but, uh, you know. Such a 
you wouldn't tell anyone. You promised. I can't believe you lied. You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you. mom mentality is it no your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise yeah. um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video she's gaslighting manipulating oh she's a narcissist and a rat I would never make a mistake like that oh I'm sorry I didn't realize that all of you are perfect so please criticize me In the dark. Yeah. What? Well, it's just not that great, is it? I wouldn't mind looking at the house again, and maybe looking at you. Really? You like looking at me? Um, yeah. I suppose I do. Well, I like looking at you, too. Yeah. Thanks. For that.
Sad feeling. at me and telling me that she loves me and I just look at her and I can't muster up anything. I feel nothing and I feel empty and I'm scared. Oh my god, I don't fucking care. Digital Art Part 2. I accidentally posted this to my story and cried, but anyway. I think I know the trick when doing art. Instead of trying to copy line for line, learn the shapes of the facial features you're referencing, figure out the facial mapping, and then put it all together. If I can do it, you can too. Hi, so I think it's fairly obvious from my art that I'm into a sort of alternative punk aesthetic, and um, I definitely vibe with that. Uh, but in our community, we talk a lot about revolution, and I'm just, I'm a little confused. Are we meaning like a socialist revolution, or are we talking about anarchy? Um, they're kind of like complete opposites, so I'm so confused why there's such an overlap in like the aesthetics of it and I'm uh, uh, help me out a bit here
I wanna rip out my intestines, throw them in the sea I wanna raise the money to invest in plastic surgery I wanna cover myself, that's it's so in super sexy scars Cause I mean, aren't you supposed to burn if you're a star? I want to be torn apart excruciatingly I punish my body cause it's not good enough for me The scary thoughts are spreading like a weed The thoughts say that I deserve to bleed My thoughts while drawing my first alt series drawing. I DK why I've been so obsessed with the alternative style lately. Girly is so pretty. And for what um? Um hey Ash is not a minor TikTok. DW. Please if I post this don't take it down. I might just draw random tattoos on her to make her look cool. I plus it's fun so why not? I dig her name yet I want to make her pansexual P.S. I'm doing that. Fight me homophobes. Oh, it's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to me and everyone else. I'm a simp for her if she's so attractive. Literally I'd get on my knees for her and marry me my queen.
You hoping for some good vibes and some less pain. Looking out the window, looking at the rain. Watch it hit the ground. Let's make an artwork to go with this sketchbook cover. I want it to match my bloodbath Lydia keychains. I have a bunch of pose sketches that might fit, but I decided to go with something new. I've never done a back view pose for decorated sketchbook before. This way the focus will be more on the wings and outfit details than the character's face. I think it creates a nice little bit of contrast, especially since the background is very detailed. I usually sketch in pen for my ink drawings, but I decided to experiment a little with color before inking as well. I usually add color after inking, but coloring this way may the sketch more than just planning for the drawing. This was so fun to do and I love how it turned out. Hello guys! Welcome to Arson's introduction! Arson speaks in third person and is non-binary, cat gender, gay, and scene gender. Oh, also transgender. Arson really, really likes cats, scene core, and gothic. Arson is non-binary, but also cat gender. So please refer to Arson as non-binary. Do not call Arson a boy or a girl, please. Arson also really hates dogs. Arson is self-diagnosed with ADHD, autism, bipolar disorder, and dyslexia. Oh, and DID. Arson is also transracial. Arson was born American, but Arson really thinks they should have been Asian. Arson also is self-diagnosed with Roar! Sorry, that was my Tourette's. Arson has been studying art since he was six. Arson also really likes My Little Pony, Hello Kitty, and really, 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 really likes Karomi. But Arson really doesn't like South Park. South Park is a racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist, and zoophilic show. If you watch South Park, you're so ableist, transphobic, homophobic, this zoophile, and a lot more. Do not interact with me if you watch South Park. Arson was also diagnosed with asthma, so you can probably hear him breathing really heavy in the background. That's all Arson has to say, so bye-bye. You can watch the speed pain in the back if you really want to see Arson's character. I think that 
Okay, tutorial. I can do that. Paper. Pencil. And not a mechanical pencil because mechanical pencils are known to explode. For example, look what happens when I just explode. Step one. Circle. Step two. Line. Step three. Whatever this is. Nice. Step four. The delicious little ears. Congratulations, you have the basic face shape down. Now on for the body. One. Neck. Don't forget the little, the little shading. If it'll just fo focus the camp. Step I forgot. This will be our collarbone. I know it's very difficult, but I believe in you. The body shape can obviously be differently than what I'm about to do, but I'll just draw what I did for the drawing that you just saw. This shape, this shape, this shape, the exquisite little calf muscles. Now for the arms, you just gotta eat. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, arms are really difficult. I don't like them. I think we should just get rid of arms as a whole. I think that'd be helpful. Shablam! Nice. We got the nice little feetsies. Now for my mortal enemy. The hands. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Ish. Okay, time to show you how I did it. Bloop, blop, bleep, blarp, blog and schnoff. That's the basic body shape, but whoa. Okay, let me let me fix these legs. Shoo. Shwap. Ee Wap. Okay, now we have the basic thing down. Okay, now on for the detail. Eyeball. Eyeball. Triangle. Ooh. Comment what kind of clothes and hair and everything else you want to see on this beautiful creature. As for the tutorial, I hope you liked it. Now go have fun. Goodbye.